Hey folks, just wanted to make a quick video about the major update to photo AI from our friends at Topaz. You know, uh, Adobe came out with a pretty darn good denoise as part of their ecosystem. And what I love is competitions, you know, takes, takes that and says, hey, we need to pay attention. And I think Topaz has done a great job of coming up and releasing a major update. Primarily, it's going to be... Uh, with regard to noise reduction in their sharpening uh, modules and, and the models that they're using to do that. Um, but they're adding a couple of new things, which I'll touch on briefly here. So let's go take a look. So first and foremost, it's really important that we open, if we're in the Lightroom ecosystem here, that we're going, oh, we got to get to Lightroom. We're going to go here to File and then come down to plug-in extras. So when we, when we, oh, this is the way we should be opening uh, Photo AI, through file, plug-in extras, and then process with Photo AI. It'll work on uh, raw files and TIFFs and JPEGs. It's always best to work on a raw file if you have one and invoke uh, the software that way. You'll notice it's going through its autopilot ch choices here and showing you what's been detected. And in this case, it's saying, hey, uh, all I see that it needs is sharpening. So let's, let's just take a quick tour here of, of what's new. First and foremost, if I go up to preferences, you now have a few more choices in general, but you have a lot more going on in the autopilot and the way it, before really it was just autopilot. Now on every module, upscale, noise reduction on a non-raw, noise reduction on a raw file, sharpen, optimize high quality images, face detection, all that stuff, right? So you now have the ability to customize how the autopilot works, which is a big deal. Um, it, it no longer is, you're not relying on Topaz to tell you what is right and wrong. You now, based on your imagery and your type of images, you can control how you want autopilot to, to interact. So that's number one, that's a big update. Number two, you have now an adjust lighting and a balanced color added in beta version, notice that. So beta means that you, if you invoke either of these, you're not gonna be able to spit out a, a DNG file anymore. It's going to have to be a TIFF file and it's, and it's going to look funky or it's not going to work when you do it. It's going to spit it out as a DNG, but it may or may not keep the adjust lighting or balance color. That's because these are betas. That's, that will change quickly, right? Uh, we've been told by the folks, uh, the engineering staff that, you know, look for updates in a week or two weeks and eventually and quickly, not a long time eventually, but quickly, you will have the ability to use these new tools and in fact, open them up as part of the DNG that's being spit back. Okay, we'll talk about those in a second, maybe a little more. I really wanna just talk about the major updates and that's on remove noise and sharpening. So the sharpening, it's automatically determining it needs it and it did, it was reasonably soft, but now, Notice you have all the, these choices for how you can work on this. I'm going to go to V2, and to me it's better. Let me make this a little bigger so we can see. So here's on the left is before, on the right is after. So it knew enough uh, that it needed sharpening. I can then change which module, or I'm sorry, model that I would like to use, and you'll see they are slightly different. V2, by the way, as it says down here, will become the standard here very quickly. So if you have feedback that you want to get back to uh, Topaz with, please do that. They take that very seriously. Uh, but I think you'll see that uh, they've done a really good job with the sharpening module. Notice, I think there's noise on this one. If I make it bigger, there's still noise there. It didn't choose to want to remove that. I think it says, hey, that's a, a reasonable acceptable, but I can turn that noise on. Now you can see a significant difference. And this is also where you're all going to see, I think it's a little too big, let's come back here. This is where the major improvements are in 2.0. Arguably, the big difference with uh, 
the Adobe version of Denoise is that it did it didn't take away a lot of the detail when you turned it on. Um, and sometimes Topaz made things kind of waxy and, and took away detail. This is doing a wonderful job of keeping the detail there for you. So um, again, same thing with sharpening. You can, uh, I'm sorry, noise reduction. You can you know, make it more or less. Uh, and it, I choose to have it as auto. So auto is uh, picking the noise reduction model. I've played around with all the different models enough that I just feel comfortable at this point that the auto works really well, uh, especially now with the AI technology. So let's just take a, a second to show you these. So we'll leave those on. So if we go down to adjust lighting, what it's going to do is, is trying to take highlights and shadows and balance those out and give you a starting point when you would bring this back I find that like on this one, it's it, it's not quite right yet. It, it, there are some that it works really well on, and this one, it just tends to make it brighter than I would like. So again, I wouldn't, I'm not gonna spend a lot of time on these because I wouldn't be saying that you're gonna buy this upgrade for these things at this moment in time. Balancing color is doing a similar thing. It's trying to say, what should the color be? And then if you open that up, it's a starting place. And then you can now make it warmer or cooler or bring the opacity down of what it thinks it's working here. Just pay attention up here. It's kind of going through the balancing color, removing. It's, it's doing its job. And it's one of the, one of the things of, or one of the pieces of feedback all of us beta testers has, have given is that it's too slow. It needs to be real time. So again, these are labeled beta. They're going to be great. I, I have full confidence and trust in, in the folks at, at Topaz to make these really good. What I like that they're doing is they're making them available to the masses when you update so that we can all give feedback. Um, so again, the idea of this, just to be really clear, is balancing colors to, is what it will do is give you an a neutral tone and then you'll be able to move from there. So for folks who have uh, challenges with color balance or, or um, you know, colors that don't look right, color shifts, it'll help you with that. And adjust lighting, the intent of that is going to be so that you can rein in those highlights, open up those shadows right on the raw file. A lot of us, me included, you'll feel comfortable using the tools in the Lightroom ecosystem or what have you to, to make those adjustments. But stay tuned for those. All right, so that's it. That's really all I wanted to cover today as to what's going on. A super update with regard to the core capabilities that Photo AI is known for, and that is sharpening, denoise, and upraise and resing. All of those have been absolutely um, improved. I'm just turning some of those off. Uh, they've been updated and improved tremendously to make them, I think, the leader of the pack again. Take care. Have a good day.